Hello backers, and welcome to my uh, workshop deep in the middle of Leicestershire. I thought it'd be great to show you around the workshop really quickly, show you some of the machinery that I'll be using and also some of the woods and materials that I'll be using on your projects that uh, are on their way. So first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the support uh, you guys who have brought my project to funding. You've put it to 100%, it's going to be backed. Uh, and that was all done within 24 hours, so I can I can hardly believe it. I just want to say thanks very much, um, and I really look forward to putting a lot of time and effort into the stuff I'm making for you. I've got a great relationship with my local supplier, so I do get pick of the litter, which means I get the best wood, which means you get the best wood. So let's have a flick around the workshop and uh, show you all the bits and pieces that I'll be using to make your pens with. Because I buy the lumber in bulk, I'll be using the bandsaw to cut it up with and get it to the right sort of size before it's drilled and then put onto the lathe. Over on the other side of the workshop, there's my lathe, and that's what I'll be using to get your pen blank shaped and round. And then right down here is this bunch of stuff here. So there's a set of chuck jaws for the drill bits, for how I drill them uh, to get the leads and that through. Uh, that's a pen turning kit with the mandrel in inside it, I'll show you real quick. So that's got everything I need in there to uh, help get your pens to the right size. Different size bushings for different size pens, obviously there's a slim line and, and a, uh, a, a normal quite sort of bigger one, uh, a more substantial pen. And then there's a, a trimmer there which I'll use for getting the, uh, the ends perfect to the ends of the barrels so there's no overhang on your, uh, on your pens. This white and black setup here, that's what I use to uh, essentially fit your pens all together. A lot of you were asking about the woods, so I had to bring you over here to my pyrography station. And these are the three woods. I've got them under light so they'll show up. Uh, so this is the Panga Panga wood. Um, it's a beautiful uh, African wood, really, really dark, but there's lots and lots of character in this one. Uh, this is the Bibinga. Uh, so this is uh, very red, like a like a cherry, but a bit more exotic. And this is the lead wood. Um, I actually think this one's got a bit of a burr in it. So you can I don't know whether you can see this, but the grain isn't straight. So and that's actually a really really nice feature. I picked this specifically for that. So I've picked the best machine sides. Obviously, this is nowhere near the finish that I'll put on them. This is straight from the from the um, machinists. But what I thought I'd do is throw some uh, sanding sealer on them, and then you'll you'll get to see them. Yeah, you know, the sanding sealer brings the grain out, brings the colouring out, um, and they should look really, really pretty. So stand by two secs. I'll just throw some sanding sealer on these, and you should get an idea of what they're going to look like. So this is the panga panga. I don't know how close we can get to this before losing the uh, the quality on the camera, but hopefully you can see that grain is just popping out there. So next up's the babinga. Now obviously at the moment all that's showing up to me is these saw marks but they won't be there by the time I'm finished. There we are, we can see sort of deep ribbons of red and deep ribbons of black in there as well but that's going to come out beautiful when it's finished. And then finally the lead wood which is incredibly heavy. There we go, that's sort of got a deep mahogany colour but like I said I think that has also got some, got some burr in it. Uh, let me see if I can just change this light ever so slightly. Oh, well, maybe that's better actually. Who knows? I don't know what these are going to come out like, but I hope hope you can see the differences in all of those. But they are really pretty woods. I picked them specifically because they're pretty and they finish nicely. Okay, so some of you are asking about the pens, so I thought I'd show you them what they're going to come out like. Now these uh, kits, you, you know, you can get these cheap from China if you really want to, but I prefer not to. I prefer to go for the quality kits, um, just because they feel nicer to hold. They're better balanced. So to start off with is that's going to be the nib. If I lay them in here, sort of in line, you can see what it's going to look like. That's where the end of the pen will stick out of, and then you've got barrel one and barrel two but separated by this gold band here now this is where your wood's going to be okay so these aren't going to be gold colored or brass colored they're going to they're going to be your, your wood's going to be centered around those and that's what i've got to turn inside there is the twist lock mechanism for the pen uh, to help you twist it in and out the pen obviously sits in there and then pokes out the bottom and then to cap it all is a little pocket 
don't know if you can see that is a a little pocket clip that goes on the top of the pen and then and then there's a little a little gold colored nugget on the end that sits onto there and then that is push fitted into the rest of the pen so that's the slim line <clears throat> and this is the other pen that I'm doing so that's your nib section then you got your barrel there which will be coloured in the wood of your choice stop running away from me with the end section with a pocket clip there also and then the internals is um, a pen a pen internal and then that's got a twist lock mechanism slightly different to the slim line and it also comes fitted with a spring as well just to help it it's slightly chunkier it's slightly heavier so the springs there just to help it go back in um, go in and out smooth nice and smoothly well right, because I know I didn't mention it in my campaign because I'm a newbie at this but each of the pens will come fitted inside a uh, black velvet case all right, with uh, sort of a silky white patch at the top and then it's got a uh, I don't know if you can see that just use this real quick there we are so it's got a pen clip on it so these will be logoed up ready to go and they'll look beautiful sat in there so you can take this to work um, keep it in your handbag wherever you like without it getting damaged right so that's it for me from the time being um, if you've got any more questions or comments you know go through Kickstarter hit me up on there or go to either my Facebook page um, which you'll find it on the update or hit me on Twitter or Inst I don't even count on Instagram don't worry about it um, I'll leave a link for that uh, down below somewhere um, but yeah I've got a lot of work to be getting on with so that's exactly what I'm going to do now I'm going to start working on the first few uh, prototypes and then uh, go into production but rest assured I'll be working as equally hard on all of your pens as, as I did on the last one or the next one the first will look as good as the last um, because they won't leave my workshop until I'm absolutely happy with them, 100%. I better get on, better let you get on. Have a great day, thanks for supporting me, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. Cheers!